Oh, I was jamming to my instrument. I'm gonna have to change my instrument music. I need some a little more energy. Oh, I need something a little more energy because I was just jamming, but I want to make sure Instagram doesn't kick me off here if I play uh, music that I haven't you know, purchased myself or created myself. So I'm going to put the... Um, yes, yes, welcome everyone at Atara. I'm going to spell this wrong. And I don't, oh, it's right in front of me. Do a hair. Hair. Stephanie. I did this backwards, but it's Stephanie from Atara Haircut. I'm going to do it right. Hello, hello, hello. I hope we get lots of you joining us today. Alicia, what's up, girl? I'm going to put the, I'm messing up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Stephanie because I just tried her product and girl, let me just tell you, hair, care, because you know what, I can't type. Stephanie, if I totally screwed this up, messed this up, please tell me. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm going to bring Stephanie in in just a second. What's up, what's up? You guys just got to catch what I do before any live I have, before anything if you saw the previous post because that's that's what I do to get get hype like I just get in my music dancing have a good time get my energy up she have a long day at work but uh, you guys deserve all of my energy when I'm with you so I'm gonna give you everything I got hey if you're new here welcome to the sweet life cafe you've seen the sweet life of Stephanie J yes I post all the time post every day I have classes I have life coaching I have all that stuff I show you my favorite products um, but this is the Sweet Talk Cafe where I bring in, sometimes I have solos, but most of the time Sweet, Ta Sweet Talk Cafe is where I bring in women that are strong, that are doing something with their lives, that are making a difference, that are killing the game, that are, you know, showing us how we should be doing it. And there's so many of them that I don't have room for everybody. Not right now, but everyone will be on here because I see so many inspired women every day. Tonight, Stephanie from Atara Hair is going to be joining us very shortly, but I wanted to go through a few announcements and a few things before she joined us. So I guess I'll cut the music and fade it out. I am going to get some live there music because I'm like, I'm sweating. Okay, let's fade that out. Oh, hey everybody, the Sweet Life Cafe is on in effect. I'm going to keep my iPad closed so I can watch the time. And I have ice cream at Sweet Life Cafe because... I was supposed to eat this while I was doing prep, but um, yeah, I got caught up in my song, so you may see me reach over in my phone. I have my drink, sparkling water, I'm all set. First of all, Trigger Traps, the masterclass. Hey, Alicia, the masterclass was released. Positive responses. I just pray it changes women's lives. Um, I'm super excited about it. So I just want to, if you've joined the class, thank you so much. I want to hear your feedback. I want to see how it's changed your life. I share with them my personal healing map with all of my triggers on it and all of my healing mechanisms for triggers. So that class is out and about. I will probably re-release this at a later date, but right now I'm just keeping it capped at who's there. And maybe at a later date, you'll get to take that class. Um, what's next? Oh, one of my absolute favorite products that I love to use, another chick that I would love to have on here. Maybe one day she will answer my call and come on. Her name is Kat Gaskin. So if you are in any type of business and you do social media, she creates this thing called the content planner. So what I've done for years, like she sells the sheets to it. And um, what, I, what you do is plan out all of your social media. You get to keep track of your numbers here, set goals. Um, and I love this. I'm going to get the whole content planner book. It, her, she's releasing it on the 12th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I have a link in my bio if you want to be part of that release because it's going to be 15% off and she's going to have some freebies that she's not going to have after this date. So it's got, she's at, at the content planner. Follow her on Instagram. You can go over there and she'll tell you all the goods. But if you go to my link, I get a little bit of credit for you coming over there. So I love using this to plan all of my social media content. It keeps me organized. And if you have a business, you need to be using it. So at the content planner, today is the last day. After today, she's cutting off the early registration. 
at 15% off and all the extra goodies she's going to have with it just for people who join the pre-sale. What else? Oh, the blueprint plank, blue, 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 blue. The blueprint conference. Um, this is my friend Marissa's event and guess what? I'm speaking at it. <laughs> I'm so excited um, to be speaking at this event. I'm going to be talking about self-love and what you need to do before you can prepare yourself for a man or a relationship and what you need to do for yourself. So I don't know if I was supposed to give that away. Sorry, Marissa, if I did. Eh, anyway, I think she's going to be telling that. But you have to be there. She has an amazing lineup of speakers, me being one. Um, and it's a two-day event in Miami, Florida. Um, you can go to the link in my bio and you can get um, the event price event right take it there um and i'll also i'll have to put that link in so you can go to let's see you can go to blueprint retreat 2020 and you'll be able to find that you can also go to at the marissa janae or form her the blueprint on instagram and she'll have that in the link in the bio oh yeah and tomorrow night i'm not tomorrow night thursday two boss babes in the house this week so tonight is stephanie and thursday night is layla camille layla camille makes this, I've tried a lot of body butters, and I know my friends make some body butters, but I gotta hand it to my friends make some body butters, but I gotta hand it to the girl. She has so many amazing scents. I'm sorry, you can follow her um, at Rayjeanbeauty, Beauty, R A Jean Beauty, and this is her packaging. Mm -hmm. That's her body butter. I've been sticking my hands into it and using it, and my feet love it. So that's Ray Jean. She's going to be with us on Thursday. And, uh, oh yeah, I'll, I met her actually at, I started doing more networking in my community. I've been like, you know, talking to you guys, which I absolutely love and I wish you guys were here, but I decided I need to get from behind the camera and go out and meet some people. So I've been doing that in my city. I've been meeting so many people. I have another event this weekend. So I'm excited. If you're in Cincinnati, the Blogger Bash, Eventbrite, only $28, get your ticket. Okay, you guys ready to meet Stephanie? Let me grab her in. So Stephanie, I'm gonna bring you in. Oh, there she is. She's coming in here now. I got your drink. We're all in the cafe. Get your drink, get your snack, and join the chat. Hey, girl, hey. Hi. There's that beautiful Hi. girl. Oh, Hi. is it nap time? Hi, Steph. How are you? Are the babies there? How are you? I'm great. That you know what? If you this woman is working hard and she has her babies with her. So we don't, you know what? That doesn't bother us because if a woman oh shoot, I just put water all over me. If a woman's working hard and she has her babies with her, and then she's working really hard and she's taking care of all the business. Welcome, 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 girl. Thank I'm so you. glad to have you. I'm just cleaning this water. I just threw all over myself. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, God, you don't have to apologize. I'm the one who did it. That's okay. I'm clean now, so that's good. Let's yeah. solve that. So, Stephanie, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. So, I'm Stephanie Azen. I'm a wife okay. and a mother <laughs> of two wonderful kids. I have a son who is... 16 months and then I have a daughter who is three she's like my men and me I um always I'd like to say that my background is in communications however I am a uh a business owner now <laughs> um yes you I, are yeah my I mean I, I I don't know if you want me to tell the whole story or if that's gonna come next you know, that was just keep flowing with it. That was going to come in there. So we might as well tell the whole story. Okay. I just, because every time people ask me about my background, I'm like, I don't know what to say. Communications, business, hair, it's just everything. Um, a little bit of everything, but, um, what I brought you to start? Oh, I didn't even get to show the product that yeah. I, I had sitting right here. So before you, so this is her company. It's called Atara Hair Care. I started using, so I was really impressed. I have used a ton of products, and I'm just going to say this before we even get started and we get into everything. I use a ton of products, and I started using this on my hair, what, about four days ago? And I didn't want to wash my hair because my hair has never been this moisturized. So I'm going to show you. So this is the packaging. It's like a queen's packaging. Oh, oh shoot. Look at this. 
And so this is the bottle. It's a dropper bottle, so you can put it right on your scalp um, and rub it in. Yes. And then she has now the travel size, which I'm super excited about because we travel a lot during the spring. Hey, and so here is her product. So I'm going to let her tell you a little bit how she got to become the CEO of this company of this product. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Steph. Um, so I think about two years ago, no, about three years ago, actually, I, I, I was pregnant with my daughter, had had my daughter. Well, prior to that, I'll tell you how I got to the States so that we just have like a bigger picture. Painted so where are you up. originally from? So I'm originally from Ghana in West Africa, um, grew up there, and then I moved to Canada for college. Um, wound up staying in Canada for um, college, my master's, and then worked there for a little bit. Went back home, um, worked um, in PR for about a year, and then came back to Canada. So in total, I've, I was in Canada for about 10 years. I spent, I consider Canada like my, one of my homes. I have three homes here, Ghana, and then Canada. Very nice. So when I met my husband, of course, he's American. And he said to me, you know, the U.S. is the greatest nation in the world. So <laughs> I cannot <laughs> move to Canada. I, like, I had to move here. And um, when I moved here, of course, it doesn't matter your uh, status in Canada. You still have to. Um, apply for you know your permanent residency and you know go through the whole process so at, when that was then I, I told myself because ever since I've, I've been young I said to myself if I was not going to be an interior designer or Whitney Houston <laughs> then I have to be a journalist that's what I've always dreamed of being at those were my three options those are great um, options <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> And of course, my mom squashed, you know, my interior. And she said, "No, they don't make money." At that, but we were, I, it was, you know, back then. So she said, "Oh, like they don't many make parents did, like yeah." And so, um, I always knew that I wanted to be in communications. My undergrad was in communications. My majors, both my my masters and my undergrad, was in communication. So I did. I I had no fail safe. All I knew was I had to succeed either in PR. Um, as a publicist or, you know, go do TV um, as a journalist. And that's all I ever wanted. However, and I did get my dream job when I moved here. Um, and after it was um, a contract. And after a year, I was told, hey, we're not going to need you, <laughs> um, you know, after your contract is up. And that was like gut wrenching for me because mm -hmm. I really had a great feeling about the job. I thought that was it. Um, however, when I got the job offer, I had just had my baby, my daughter, who was, um, I think four months at that time. I know horrible mom leaving my daughter at four months to go to her. Oh, first time mom, but you know, <laughs> I know a lot of people do it so they would understand how it is and how it mm -hmm. goes. Um, and I remember before I got the call for my job, I was in the, in the, um, shower praying and that's where, you know, I usually, as a new mom, you know, that's where you get your quiet <laughs> moments in the shower, praying. And I was just asking God, Lord, what am I going to do with my life? I'm just here and I've applied to so many jobs mm -hmm. and nothing is happening for me. I was quite desperate and sad. And I heard a voice saying, um, why don't you sell the oil? <laughs> Mind you, in my head, I'm like, what is he talking about? So I'm going to back up a little bit. When I had my daughter, I had postpartum shedding. What, what so people explain that a little bit for people who don't know what that is, because there's some people okay. here that may never had a baby and don't know what happens. So, <laughs> postpartum shedding is um, something that some women go through, a greater amount of women go through, but don't even know that they're going through it. Um, scientifically, it's called postpartum alopecia. Mm -hmm. What happens is that when you're pregnant, the hormones in your body um, makes your hair stop shedding. Our hair naturally sheds. Some people say about 100 um, strands a day is normal. Um, and it's, it's true, our hair naturally sheds. But when you're pregnant, if you notice, a lot of women, you hear a lot of women being complimented, oh my gosh, your hair is so bouncy and flowing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And it is true because your hair, your hormones stop your hair from going through the three phases that it's supposed to go oh, through. Wow. Yes. And so what happens is that your hair is in um, 
I don't want to get too scientific, but your hair is forever in like, for, let me say phase one, phase two, phase, phase one of it growing out. So mm -hmm. it just keeps on growing. And instead of, and it's a cycle, instead of going through the cycle, you're just stuck at the first cycle. Okay. You know, so you're, for nine months, your hair never sheds. And remember, we're shedding hair about 100 pieces a day. Mm -hmm. So after you have the baby, then your hormones calm down. And then your body says, hey, those strands of hair <laughs> oh, that God. you kept open the floodgates. Mm -hmm. So everything just comes crashing down, um, so to speak. And that's what happens to a lot of women. And that's what happened to me. I lost my edges. I lost my this. Mm -hmm. you, this 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 was not like. You've seen the pictures, you know. This and, is and See, this is four dogs. kids later. This is what what <laughs> happens. Right, right. I'm praying. And, I'm praying the front over uh, this this boy. Right here. <laughs> And a lot of women actually think that um, it's because they are stressed from having a baby. Right. That's and what we've stress, always been that's told. What it does contribute to hair loss. But majority of the time, you lose your hair. Um, and it starts, you know, around month, month three or four. Or sometimes even earlier. And then it lasts about a year. Oh, so you can, you can go through it. Yes. And a lot of people, they say, oh, I'm so tired from... <laughs> from taking care of my kids and, and having my baby, and that's the, the reason why I'm losing my hair, but that's not it. Oh, gosh. Wow. So when that happened, and I was a heavy um, weaver, yeah. like sewing weaves, and you know with weaves, you need, yes, you need, um, you need your edges. Mm -hmm. You need your edges for it to look realistic. So that's uh, that's why I was crushed. I wasn't too crushed oh, that wow. my hair was falling out. I was crushed that <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have edges to wear my weaves, so I got very desperate. Started um, working around, mind you. I had a, I have a bit of a science background because I took science in high school. That was the, like my specialization. Fun fact: in Ghana, West Africa, well, Ghana, West Africa, for high school you specialized. You know, over here in high school you do a bit of everything, right? But you don't, you don't, and high back home you don't do that. It's either, okay, so if you want to major in science for high school, you do That's that for cool. three years, you, or you focus on science. If you want to do visual arts, you do that. If you want to do business, you do that. You Kids would be like, so much happier in high school if we did that here. I know, right? Because oh then gosh, you, be you so decide on what you like, what you're good at, and then you just right. focus on it. You know? Exactly. I hated it, though. I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> but it served me well. And you didn't um, end up in a science background. You ended up yeah. in a PR communication background. Yeah, because I hated the science. My mom forced me. Oh, gosh. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> the parents, they said, oh, you have to be a doctor. Speak to anybody from Africa, West Africa, yeah. they'll tell you. Yeah. Doctor, engineer. Lawyer, I have a lot of engineer it. friends that are from Ghana. So I yeah. totally yeah. understand right? that. Right. So, totally understand. Yeah. Um, so how did you go from communications, masters in communications, to selling the oil? So after um, I when after I made that formulation, it was like a ch chance finding actually because I kept on doing this trial and or error situation with um, different kinds of oils, researching because I was nursing my baby at that time, and I didn't want anything. I mean, there are a lot of products on the market. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. But I didn't want anything that would harm her in any way. You know, as a first-time mom, you're quite conscientious mm -hmm. about those things. Like, you know, what am I putting into my body? What am I giving my baby? I'm nursing. Right. I want her to be in the best of health. So I was very worried about that. And that's why I decided to go down um, that route of, of researching and putting stuff, stuff together myself. Um, so... That's when I, I put to, I, I, I read, 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 I put together that formulation, used it for about, and I mean, I have to say, even in the first week, I could, I noticed a difference. Mm -hmm. It wasn't significant, but I, I knew that I was on to something. And, you know, after, I think when my mom, my mom came to visit and when she came, she said, Hey, like she was in shock that my hair, cause she saw me no. after I'd had my daughter when my hair was you know, she she actually said to me, "Do not step out of the house with your hair looking like this." Oh ever. my! God. 
<laughs> Nobody must see you like this. So you know how bad it was. And when she saw me again, she was so shocked. She couldn't believe it. She said, what, what, what did you do? And I said, it was my oil. And from that moment on, any friend or family member who said, hey, I'm, my hair is feeling kind of funny, I'd just give it to them. And everybody loved it. I got such great positive feedback. Um, but, you know, I just, when I got the call for my, um, my the job offer, my dream job um, mm. in communications, corporate communications with this amazing company, I, I said, oh, this is the Lord's doing. I forgot all about the voice I heard in the shower. I said, no, this is the Lord's doing. I'm not a, a business hair person. I'm not a cosmetologist. I've never gone to school. So you pushed hair. all that to the back. Like, yes, I, I didn't you know hear what? that. <laughs> what stopped me was I didn't feel qualified. Mm. I didn't think I was qualified. You know, Stephanie, that, now I'm glad you said that because there's so many of us women, especially, and it may happen to men, but I'm speaking to women specifically, that we get a call for something, like we feel something in our heart and we don't go and take the steps that God says are ordered because we don't feel qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I did not, I did not. And um, it's, it's taken me a while to actually be comfortable enough to even say, hey, I'm the face of Atara. Um, mm -hmm. I do not have any specialized training, even though I am now in cosmetology school. Um, Yay! Yes. Um, that's and that's awesome. only because I, I just want to be a one-stop shop. I want to be a, a holistic solution uh, body, you know, both mm -hmm. literally and figuratively for people. Like, I want people to come to me and say, hey, this is how my hair feels. And I would have the perfect answer for them. Not only because I have the products to back me up, but also because I have the knowledge and the education yeah. um, to do so as well. So that's why I'm in school. But and anyway, that's something yeah. that you feel like you have to do. Yes, and I love it. I love yeah. hair. That's the, you know, that's the beauty of it. Um, my mom said to, she reminded me just recently. She said to me, you know, you used to do your grandmother's hair when she. You were the only person. I was the only person that my grandma would allow to cut her hair, and my grandma did not mess with her hair. She had beautiful flowing locks, so she. Like, but I was the only one that she would allow to touch her hair. But you were um, even like. like from that time, like you were already destined to do that. That and was I already revealed to it. you long before you ever knew it. Yeah, yeah, I never took it serious. And even with my mom or my sisters, everybody would come to me and say, hey, do you like this hairstyle? Do you like this hair piece? Mm. What, how do you think I should style my hair? And you know, I just thought, oh, okay, because maybe you like the way I style my hair or you, you think I have a flair for it. It never really occurred to me that, not never, for a hot, n it, never that this would this was the route I would take because like I said in my mind it, it was communications 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 you know yeah. I, to me I thought I was going to be the Olivia Pope of probably New <laughs> England you know just be in my corner office solve crisis and and you know crisis manage and help you know my my bosses just have you know represent their brand well and so I just gosh darn that's, Olivia that's Pope she had do. us all thinking that we were all ready to take over <laughs> the corporate world <laughs> right <laughs> so how has your corporate experience helped you in your small business experience I have to tell you you know what nothing we ever go through is um, a waste or right. um Per chance, I don't. Whenever somebody says to me, "Good luck," I say, I tell them, I don't believe in luck. I'm a believer, you know. Um, I, I, I'm very spiritual, and I know that God made me do communications and you know have that solid foundation in communications because He knew that probably I would be at this point. And I have to mm. say that it has helped me. And I'm even ashamed to say that I haven't even fully implemented um, everything um, that I have learned. Um, That's okay, girl. Drip it in. Drip it in. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and my, um, with my communications background and expertise. And that's also because, as I'm sure you know, when you have so many things going on, it's just hard. But it's yeah. been it's been amazingly helpful. I I can draft my own press, but I'm able to um, 
in terms of writing, I'm able to craft those things. In terms of planning, um, I'm also able to do that, you know, putting together a strategy or, or a plan for my business. Um, by God's grace, I'm able to do that without having to pay someone because it, it's expensive, you know, expenses mm -hmm. rise as you realize that you cannot be a one woman show, but by the grace of God, um, it's just time that might, might not be on my side, but when it comes to, um, those things, I, I'm able, I, I have it down pat. I'm able to that's a gift. I mean, that truly is a gift. And I think we, I'm glad you said that about, um, you know, how things that you went through before really were stepping stones to where you are now in preparation. Yes. Because that is so true. I think people, like you said, that idea came to you in a shower and you dismissed it and were ready to go on to yeah. a corporate job when God has shown you like, this is, I'm providing you with the information you need yes. to go in the, because you weren't sure you did. That was after you had your daughter, right? Yes. Because that came to you. And yes. I'm sure there was some guilt like, oh, I have to leave my daughter and. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I didn't, when I got that word, when I was um, in the shower, immediately I was like, no, that's, that's not God. Mm -hmm. I knew that it was, but my mind, my heart knew that it was, but my mm -hmm. mind reasoned it out. That Steph, listen, God wants the best for you. He's going to give you your heart's desire which is working in that communication. A dog on mine does it every time. Yes, yes. yes. We would so, just I mean, stop listening to this so much. We have this I mean, could really speak. It's, you know, the stronghold is in the mind. You know, it's, it's our mind that often makes, it defeats us first. It right. defeats our heart first. And then we, 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 we walk in that defeat. Well, Slams 2009 yes. said, and look at you now, boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Raquel. <laughs> and I love that picture, the picture you just posted, um, where it was like you and you're in, I think it was maybe your family that you're all, they were all representing you and supporting you and your business. Yes. It does look like you had a whole army, like a whole, uh, you know, yeah, no, like, like you had your whole group there, like you no. had your support, like it just looks so united. No. And that's I, what it takes. Yes, yes. And you know, yeah, honestly, yeah. Stephanie, I, I, I have to say that yeah, 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 yeah. I have been sitting down really yeah, sad yeah, yeah, yeah. that um, a lot of my best friends, my really, really best friends have not been supportive or mm -hmm. even, you know, my best friends that I, I've sent samples to, you know, first to receive the samples, first to know about the product. And, you yeah. know, they'll come to me and say, hey, I love it so much. Um, but have not been vocal in any shape, size, or form oh, wow. about it. Um, I mean, to me, they'll tell me. But you, know, after this expo, I, I sat down and I thought, and the messages that I got after this expo, which was in Ghana, by the way, and I was oh, it was I there. Didn't it was. Um, and so it was my sister with um the team there, and I'm telling you, um. So, sometimes we tend to look at the things that we we're missing out on, you know, the mm -hmm. things that are not happening, instead yeah. of being grateful for the things that we have. Nice. And this yep. was one of those nice. moments nice. where I was absolutely grateful for what I had because um, I couldn't believe it that they, I mean, everything was executed flawlessly. And I'm such... I don't want to say I'm a perfectionist because that's not, I don't think perfectionist is a good word. No. Um, <laughs> but I like, I, I like paying attention to detail and mm -hmm. they just, they, they outdid me. They floored me. And my sister said, there was a gentleman, um, one of the ladies, I'll tell you the story. One of the ladies who came to help us um, vend, her brother joined her. And when he came, he saw the product, had never heard of Atara, saw the product and, and was like, Oh, I really like this package. I like this product. He opened it and he was like, no, you have to sell this product. This is so great. Um, has great ingredients. <laughs> I mean, this is, first of all, this is a guy. I don't mean to sound sexist, but this is a guy, okay, who has never heard about the product. And my sister said 90% of the sales that day was from this guy. He left the, 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 our, our booth, was walking around with this product, just pulling anyone and everyone. And that really, 
Wow. That really touched That's me. That's favor. That's grace and favor. It is. It, it's only God that can do that. And so I'm just really grateful for that. Um, my jewels, I call them. Atara, because Atara means crown in Hebrew, you know? And, okay. And so it ju it's just perfect that those who love Atara, our brand ambassadors are called jewels. And they are my jewels. They're my precious, precious jewels. You know, I, I don't think I could... I never imagined. I'd always been looking at my friends Mom, to Mom, make a time. Yeah. Um, Mommy, that's Mommy something I've definitely learned. Me that no. Yeah, I've definitely learned that same thing. Um, and I heard somebody say a quote recently, and it kind of was to that effect like, you know, we expect our friends or the people that we're really close to, to, you know, rally and be on our side. But then we yes. forget that they're not where we're at. They're not experiencing what we're experiencing. No. And basically what she was saying, like, let them be, let them be where they are. Yeah. Let them be and don't expect them to come where you are. I thought that was so good because I think I was the same way. Like, you know, there's some people I'm like, oh, I'm surprised. Like she, you know, hasn't asked me about what I'm doing, you know, and I'm like, they're here. Like they don't understand what's happening here. So I'm yeah. gonna keep staying here and going up and you know, if they come along, great. If they but, don't, yeah. I'm making so many you're making and I was you making so many relationships that are not. I was just telling this earlier when I came on that I met a lady I'm talking to on Thursday night. I was kinda like, you know, not going out to stuff and kinda, you know, not doing a lot of events and I've yeah. finally gotten from behind this <laughs> and gone out and met so many people, so many women, so many like so if you you know if you find that you're doing something that you love and you're like passionate about and you're mm -hmm. on fire for and the people that you're around aren't on fire with you keep going you don't have to like not love them but you got to keep moving and god will bring you new support new friends and yes. new tribes yes. that's yes. going to carry you to the next level that yes. he needs to take you to so yes. don't don't be discouraged if you show your friends your your products and they like oh that's nice yeah and then no you it know, is nice the, the funny thing is they'll use it and be like i love it i love it i love it and then that's it but yeah. you see them posting and you see them supporting other people's businesses you know but it's just funny because i the people that god has brought my way the people that have helped every step of the way because this this is not a one woman show. I mean, yes, I God graced me with the formulation, God. but a t no. I mean, every every um, for example, the even our brand ambassadors. I did a, a call. I reached out and said, "Hey, you know, I need people to kind of because I, I after reaching out to my family and even the people who had made the purchases. Some people didn't want to show, you know, their hair and." in that worst situation. So I, I was struggling finding before and afters mm. and finding people that would really vocalize um, and, and, you know, kind of bring a face to the brand um, online, socially. Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. That you would. Yeah. Wow. That's, so that's interesting because it, 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 it's a, it's sometimes you don't, you do go through that. And now I'm telling you, Stephanie, when I'm putting together the content calendar, because as you know, you have to do that sometimes a month ahead. Two yep. months. Sometimes <laughs> you have to come back and then, you know, make a few alterations, mm -hmm. um, a few edits and updates. Now I'm telling you by God's grace, there are pictures I'm, that I have like pictures that are probably like two weeks, three weeks, even a month um, old that I haven't posted yet because I have so many. Well, I you have know. mine coming to you too. So yes. <laughs> I am just, I just feel so blessed and I'm just so grateful because I know that God moved them aside so mm -hmm. that the right people would come. I have That's people the truth, who email girl. me and say, hey, do you need some, so an expert in marketing? You know, these are my qualifications. I, I have hardly had to reach out to someone for um, a certain skill set just to get something done in the business. God Maybe. has just been able to connect me, align me from mm. my mentor who's been absolutely amazing. Um, Won't he do it? I'm telling you. I mean, I could go on, honestly. Stephanie. I know. I like, we on. can sit here and go on and on, can't we? Well, let's, I want to talk a little bit about, let me check my time because I do. I, okay, we got a little bit of time. Um, 
I want to talk a little bit about because we're sitting in your playroom right now. That's also your office. How do you manage with the kids? Because your kids are small. Like I, I can't even imagine. And you're building this empire, this hair empire. It's it's gone. I don't know. I I don't know myself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just yeah. You want the best for them. You want the best for them by God's grace. I've had, I've seen my mom, and I think that's why I I, I have that feeling or that confidence that I can do it. Um, mm -hmm. My mom was, she built her business from the ground up, and she was successful in her business. And I I've seen her do it, and so I I just I guess God just gave me that grace to be able to do it. But some some days I'm telling you, some days I just my day starts at four thirty. Um, and, okay, and, see, that's a lot of people aren't willing to do that. Yeah, it starts at 4 30. Um, and in the evening, I make sure they have a set bedtime. Mm -hmm. So usually they're in bed by 7 30, around this time, they're in bed. Daddy is not home, so that's why they have a little bit of wiggle room. Otherwise, they would be settled in their rooms. 8 p.m., we're you know, kind of rubbing our eyes, but it's bedtime Good. so that I'm able to work a little bit from about that 8 p.m. to usually around 11. I try to get to bed early just so that I can also wake up early. But usually 11 is my cutoff time. So I work, um, I, I guess I'm a night owl because I'm able to, when it's when I see darkness, then I'm able to focus more. <laughs> and um, during the day I'm in school. And I okay. actually just switched um, to full time um, now, last week. So it's even crazier and, and, and more hectic. So you're really, oh my gosh. I don't yeah, like to use the word I, balance. Like you're really juggling. There isn't any balance right there now. There isn't, no. Just... Let's just get it straight. There's no such thing as balance. Four kids, 32 years of marriage later, full time no, yeah. work. There's no. no such thing as balance. Nobody has to feel guilty or bad anymore. Right, right. You know, some people try to you know pass it off as you know you need to just schedule your time but you, they forget that things happen this is life you know kids are, are not um perfect human beings who understand that oh yeah you have a routine okay i'm gonna try and stick with it and i'm talking to you and my, my daughter is sitting across from me talking to me about how she wants my phone because her ipad is off she doesn't care that i'm <laughs> you know talking when i tell her to shush that's when she's just like why is she shushing me i'm doing um, something and they're just like mommy mommy like i'm being polite i'm asking you to use your phone first before i take it and you don't want to um she said i'm being polite and that's life. There's no balance. That is life. You know, we're here at 7.30. My husband's not home yet. You know, so I have to um, figure stuff out. We've had dinner. We've taken a shower. And now we have to probably, after um, we're done this, you know, wind down and then get to bed. There, there is no, there is no, right. there is no balance. And sometimes when it's 4.30, I don't feel like waking up. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I, I, I do shut my eyes till it's like 5 or 5.30 before I get up. Some, on Saturdays, I, I wake up at 6 sometimes because I just, I, I think I deserve that extra you hour. You deserve to sleep in till 6 o'clock. <laughs> there is no balance. There is no balance. I am. <laughs> I might, sometimes I, I might see a post on, on social media and then not be able to get to it because I have to tend to my daughter or I have to, you know, till Atara gets to that stage where we are a fully um well oiled um machine you know this or organism which has like different moving parts with different mm -hmm. people helping out um this is how it's going to be and i understand that you know th this is the foundation and it's okay it's okay show Many yourself some grace. grace show yourself some grace and some compassion yeah yeah, yeah. that's what we have to do as women we have to show ourselves some grace and not put all that pressure of society and being perfect because i was raised in that generation of you know this this facade of doing it all and yes. you know something always suffered mostly usually yeah. it was my marriage my poor husband because i you know the kids were taken care of work was taken care of and usually that poor guy was the last one that i was like oh, i don't care what to do with anybody so, oh so true <laughs> oh my gosh See, my son just like, <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this is just how it is. This is how it is. 
this is definitely how it is. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so there's de there is definitely no balance. No. There isn't. You just so have to no, you don't have to wing it. You can plan, but you also have to um make room for error mm -hmm. and be okay with that. Just and, knowing that And be you, okay with that. Yeah, you you can't That's have okay. everything done all at once. You're not um you know, superwoman. No, yeah. there's no such thing. Well, if anyone has any questions for Stephanie, I want you to, you can use the question um, icon there. You can pop those in um, while we're finishing up here because I wanted to allow a little bit of time for, for questions in case anyone had any for Stephanie. You know, if you're thinking about, you know, wondering about her hair, where can they find your products? So we have a website, um, www.myatara.com. <coughs> Again, Atara means crown, so I figured mycrown.com would be cool. My, oh, okay. <laughs> Also, we on Instagram at Atara Hair Care. Atara is A-T-A-R-A-H, and then Hair Care, H-A-I-R-C-A-R-E. -E. And we're also on Facebook at Atara Hair Care. Perfect. That so. makes it really easy. Yeah. And then are your, are they, are they, are your, is your product in any stores? Excuse me, right now, or? Any retailers? Are you working on that? Or? So we are actually in a couple of local stores here um, uh, in, in Boston and also okay. in Rhode Island. Um, I'm closer to Rhode Island, um, even though I live in Massachusetts. I'm like 20 minutes from Rhode Island. So we, we, have, we, are, we are being stocked there. We are also being stocked in... Um, in Georgia, it's a little shop that's about to open up. A little beauty shop called um, Resident Daily. What this part of Georgia? I have to tell you that I don't know. Okay. No, I do know. I just can't remember the address. <laughs> that's okay. I will get that to you. And we are also on this online platform called Coco Curl. Coco uh, Curl? Yes, it's a beautiful platform, which is... is um, just has like all this amalgamation of, you know, uh, black beauty products. But what make, what differentiates it is that it just shows you how to use the products. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So that's actually very nice. What's the name of that again? Coco, Coco Curl. C O C O C O C U R L C O C U R L dot com. And then their um, handle is at Coco Curl. Okay. So for my. My sisters with my sisters with the my, with the melanin with the hair. Yes, yes. CocoCurl dot com. I mean, my non melanin yes. sisters. You can probably go over. You might get some information. But my my sisters with the melanin. CocoCurl dot com. I'm gonna yes. head over there. She shares how to use actually use product, and they she, they talk about your product over there. Yes. Um. So it's 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 actually hair and skin products. Okay. So it's just like all encompassing. It's just like a beauty. Um, oh, my curation so almost. Orange two thousand one. My cousin, she uses them. Why didn't you share oh, that right. with me? See? see, see, you're supposed to share that kind of stuff with me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she probably has. She's probably gonna yell at me and say, "I did share it with you. You forgot." Oh. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're really good. I like them a lot. Okay, so, I'm gonna check that. And I'm we have like. like you we do have a couple of um, collaborations coming up um, as well. <laughs> okay. Well, you're definitely, are you going to share those on um, Instagram on the website? Yes. Yes. We, okay, we will. On. Yes. 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 We are actually in the works with a major retailer. So hopefully Ooh. God willing, I know God willing, everything goes through. And, well, uh, we're gonna be praying. Yes, sure. yes, that's my prayer. That um, yeah, everything. I just want to chill. I don't know if people can see my hair. So, I washed my hair. I'm telling you, Stephanie, I didn't want to wash my hair. I seriously did not want to wash my hair because it felt and looked so good. I I was nervous oh. if I washed it that I don't know. I thought it was gonna be gone um, because <laughs> when I wash my hair, it usually gets dry. But like it is like so like it has so much moisture i mean it doesn't look dry like sometimes my hair yeah. especially when it's hot looks dry doesn't look dry i mean i just put a little bit on my scalp my hair isn't i can put my hands in my hair it's not greasy and oily or anything like that yeah um my scalp totally like absorbs it it loves it um i'm Aww. putting on my edges because this is the thing so this is what she's talking about so this is after four kids you know this hair yeah. thins out here and i do yeah. have it faded down but 
this has always been a thin area. Um, it wasn't like that after the, the first one child, but that first child was kind of wild. So he kind of <laughs> took all my hair out mentally too. And then three more came along oh, after that. <laughs> so this is it. So I'm going to start, I'm going to take some before photos and I'll show you guys too as, along yes, the way. Please. And I, yes. and this actually, yep, I measured this here. So I, right there. So we're gonna, look, at, look at that, look at that bounce back. Look at that. Dude. Okay. <laughs> That's the Myel Organics uh, <laughs> uh, curl on top of there, but but the moisture. Oh, is that, is that, did you say Myel Organics? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's my mentor, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh, I use all her products um, Love for her. my curls. Love so, her. Yeah. So you, do you have anything new coming down the line? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I was on your live Sunday, so I had to throw that in. I, right, right. We do. We have. Well, our travel um, size um, bottle has actually. Um, I'll show them because right? I can't see you really well. You're really dark, so I'm gonna show them. Uh -oh. Not you personally, but just yes, there's not. Yeah, there we go. I think I put it. That's the travel so, size. Our travel size version is coming out actually later this week but i mean to our subscribers it has been out for about a week now they get first dips you know obviously i want to get have... some more cookies okay. <laughs> and how many ounces is this because my eyes won't let me see I can't... Uh, so this is 20 20 ml and so how then, many ounces um, is the travel size so the travel size is 20 ml and then the full size is 100 ml okay oh gosh yes yeah, so yes, that's the hundred ml, and then we have um, we have I am collaborating with this amazing entrepreneur who just so happens to be my brother-in-law um, on a men's uh, grooming therapy. So it's 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 an oil like just like the scalp and hair treatment, but it's for men, specially okay. formulated um, to help them, you know, in terms of you know growing their beard, their hair, just. Keep, to keep them looking cool and amazing. Well, we look forward to that. And she was trying to give her brother-in-law away on the live on Sunday, by the way. So <laughs> uh, if you're single and available yes, and you're amazing. a good guy, <laughs> keep watching. And then maybe you'll see him and maybe there'll be a love connection. And this live will be responsible for that love connection. <laughs> yes. And then lastly, we have our hair butter, which I know a lot of people are really um, looking forward to. So, you know, we have a couple of things coming um, down the pipeline. And yeah, I'm looking forward to Christmas because I'm hoping that we can do a gift set of some okay. sort. Good. Um, for people. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I am too. Well, I'm really honestly, like, I don't, like, I sometimes I get people's products. I'm like always nervous. Like, oh my gosh, what if I hate it? And... <laughs> And I have to bring them on. I never have, though. I, I haven't had that happen. Thank God. Aww. Really, true. Thank God. Um, but I really do. I really, it, this really does, it really has me and my hair more moist. So, you know, to close out, unless people Mommy, start bringing in some questions. Me, please. Um, what is, what, please, is, what are you reading? <laughs> he needs some cookies, girl. You got the boys some cookies. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right before bed, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. So what are you, are you, what are you reading? What are you listening to that's inspiring you? Oh, I have to tell you that, um, the book that, you know, I, I would recommend anytime, any day, um, is the Bible. You wake up, you, you get in, um, I try to read both the old and the new Testament. I have to say that I love, um, my Proverbs. I love my Psalms. I love Isaiah. So I, I do, you know, go over them a lot in addition to doing my devotional. So basically all I'm saying is when you wake up, pray. Pray and do your, <laughs> your devotional. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but aside that, I love um, reading um, Bishop Jakes' book, mm -hmm. books. Um, who else? Miles Monroe is somebody that I really, really love. Um, okay, I haven't heard his name in a while. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he was such a powerhouse. Um, in addition to that, my own pastor, um, Dr. Mensa Odebill, he's in Ghana, so I'm sure a lot of people don't know about him, but he's full of absolute, like, incredible wisdom. And so I have a few um, people that I absolutely trust to 
to you know deliver so whenever i see any new mm-hmm. releases i just gravitate towards them i'm reading um crushing right now by i Alex read that Jakes. yeah did you love it yes i loved it yes, I'm midway. yes. I'm it gave midway. a great visual of what we all go through yeah every day when we think it's going to be easy when we think that when you're working towards something that it's going to be i'm going to wake up and i'm going to make a plan and i'm going to just achieve it and it's going to happen like all that stuff that happens that isn't what you expected yep yep that's the crush yeah it was really good yeah i always all his books as soon as they come out i'm like audio or buying the book (laughs) yes yes. i'm a tangible like i like holding you yeah. know having that feeling. I do too so I like tangible things and so I always even if it's like an audio I do listen to sermons a lot but I mm-hmm. always go back to purchasing a, a hard copy actually just like so I habit. do the same thing but uh, sometimes I can't l- read a book as much because I'm like I don't have time so yes like, when I'm in like work when I'm at my desk and stuff I'm always listening to books yeah. Um, and then if it's like a really good book I'm listening to, then I go and, and buy it. But his I always seem to, to buy just because I think they're really good. I like to be able to write them and write references and yeah, you know, right? mark pages. And That's true. Highlight, highlight, stuff. highlight, highlight. Yeah, still highlight. Stephanie, this has been so good. I just, I, I hope this is inspired. It's inspired me. And it just always reminds me too that everything, every step that God placed you in, there's a reason for it. And yes. don't get discouraged and don't get, you know, mm-hmm. trust me, I, I'm, it's still like a daily walk. So it's not, you know, it's not completed. It's a daily walk and figuring it out. And I can't wait to see where Atar hair care goes. If anybody has mm-hmm. any questions for Stephanie, like I, we and her <laughs> talked like earlier, you know, we talked a couple <laughs> weeks ago. So we've got all our words. This is for you and for you guys, if you have any questions for her. Um, but Stephanie, I'm super excited about where you're going to be going and where this is going to take you. We, you know, we talked about your mentor, mentee yes. mentor, and that's one person that always I follow that inspires me too. Um, even though I'm not in the hair care business, just yes. being inspired and seeing women who have started from level zero and worked their way up. Um, you know, and, and she shares, well, uh, it's exquisite Mo. Um, shares all that and that's yeah. really I like that she shares that so I know you're going to do the same thing as you build your business because you're going to have oh, yes, by God's grace. your you know, story I don't, I don't share as much I got to a point in my life when I got saved I said to myself and I, I told God I said Lord you know I'm not going to post you because I was very, very quite superficial before and just mm-hmm. posting but I feel like now when I look back I'm like it was just a, why why are you put why am I posting pictures of myself to what mm-hmm. end to get that edification that that feel good uh uh you know uh, uh high or something it, to me it just it was pointless so i said if it doesn't edify you or glorify you god i'm not going to do it and so mm-hmm. i was a bit um to some people i wasn't very active on my page because i wasn't posting especially on facebook i wasn't posting as much and even on instagram mm-hmm. too but i i'm now you know, coming to understand, especially working um, with uh, Monique through a lot of things, you know, owning um, and running my own business. Um, she's she's kind of helped me just kind of unearth a few things. Just saying, you know, it's okay just to show, sometimes show people a little bit of the process so that they understand. And so I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to be doing better at, at doing that. I think I said that to you when I first met you. Because I was, I think I was, I had talked to you because Leisha had, had entered, you know, told me about you. So I went over and checked out your page. And I was like, I, you know, some about me and face. It's like, I like, because I get, I can yes. like, see that person's spirit yes. too when I see their face. And I'm like, I don't see any pictures of her face. Like I said, I need to see her face. And, and I said, I need to see her face. And then you did that live that Sunday after I said that and I was like, I love her spirit. Um, and that's why I have, when I, when I have lives with people on Instagram, I always meet them on zoom because I want to see what their spirit is. If we're in the same place, um, you know, so I'd hate to get on there with somebody and they're like, you know, cussing like a sailor and like, you know, it's just yes. like a hot mess. And I'm like, Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and they never showed their face or their personality on their page. So I, I was really glad when you went live that Sunday and I was like, Oh, there she is. She's so cute. Yes. She's so I'm, cute. I'm, so I'm, I'm glad you did that. that. Okay. 
Well, we look forward to seeing more of you oh, thank and you. your journey and learning more about your process. So definitely you guys follow her on Atar Hair Care. Um, this live will stay up for 24 hours and I'll have to screen record it because Instagram doesn't like to give us the option to save our lives when we do in, when we talk. I know, to people. I know. They don't like that. So that's fine. Just we'll 24 just, hours. It's fine. It's fine. Instagram. It's free. So I can't complain. Right. <laughs> That's true. I, that's why I said I don't complain. It's free. And we can share with the world. So this will be up for 24 hours. And then um, I'll also have this and take this into audio and bring it to the podcast so that it hits those people over there. It may not happen soon, but it will happen. So I'll let you know when that happens. But thank you so much. Thank and I want you, you to for get having me. Sandra. Oh, absolutely. I look forward to thank see you. where you're going because this is what I love to do. I love mm -hmm. seeing where women are going, talking to them. Because, you know, when you're like my own organics and I'm like knocking mm -hmm. on your door, like, remember? Back in the right, right. You know, I have the proof. Hey, I have the video. Yeah. Hey, name, <laughs> Don't name. be acting funny now. <laughs> I oh, amen win. to that. Amen to that. I received that honestly. I really do. Girl, you take care and go get those babies to bed. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for coming on, taking time out of your busy lives. To yes, yes. Time is money, you know. So time is money. It. Thank you so much. You know, someone told me though, and I'm going to leave after this. Someone told I always just say time is money. And this doctor I was working with told me, he's like, no, time is time. And I was like, you're absolutely right. Time is well, time. Because time you only get 24 time. hours. I was like, I, I think for me, I try to equate time to money in terms mm -hmm. of value that, you know, how because people when you talk about money people's eyes just you know swell up but when you say when you talk about time you know when you're late for something oh. some people just don't really care some but people if, don't right yeah no but if you don't get paid on time hello hello, <laughs> hello. Yeah, that's a problem <laughs> so how you, that check's not on time yeah, that energy you have when you don't see your that's your, your true i never thought about it account. like that keep that the energy time. too when you're thinking about time <laughs> yeah i think that's what i do like don't time time is important to me that's i see important. it though i told that now that means when you put it like that that changes the time yeah. of money i always think time is such it's a commodity that you can't get back you yep. get more money but you can never get more time true very very true. never get more time all right you guys like we're gonna get out of here because them babies she's gonna be feeding them cookies babies cookies and they're gonna be up happy i know she just will not stop <laughs> oh well let me let you get back to her you guys thank you so much thank oh, you thank um, you so anyone much, that Stephanie, came from stephanie's you. page thank you so much for joining people from my page thank you so much for joining thank you Head so of much. <laughs> thank you <laughs> stephanie take care and we will we'll be in contact <laughs> bye bye, bye. good you. night everybody bye, good night kids <laughs> bye good night everybody thank you so much for joining i'm going to go and get this screen recorded so it can come back up stephanie is